The Sacred Herbs of Samhain. Now, I bought this book long before I got the arc of The Sacred Herbs of Beltane, and I read that one, and <laughs> when I got this, I kind of skimmed through it, but I didn't do this video, but I will, like to me, I won't get the physical copy or a uh, ebook version of the Beltane or Beltane um, one. So this one is the first book. The Beltane one is her second one, her second release. So and this is a Destiny's um, book, not a Llewellyn. So, like, I think there's still that, like, kind of, like, hate, not hate, but, like, dislike for, like, Llewellyn books because it's, like, watered down and total basics. <laughs> As I speak with a row where a good majority of them are Llewellyn books, I reorganized. <laughs> My Shadow Hunter books are down, further down. But, um, a few of the, those are not Llewellyn books, but, um, I've kept ones that I do find very useful. Um, but anyway, this one I do find very interesting, and I'm not one who's a total herbalist or, like, huge interest in herbs, but I am in... I am interested in Samhain and um, seeing how, seeing what connects to Samhain. There are recipes in here and different uses for the herbs, so that interests me. <laughs> and what's cool about this, her work, is you get this like the glossy photo color images. And so you get like old school botanical images <laughs> of different herbs and plants. And so like you get it three different sections of colored um, images, which is better than, you know how like some books ha just have like that middle portion like you can kind of see here where there's a difference of um, sections of like images. I kind of don't like where it's like middle is like glossy photos. And I kind of like um, how it's separated in this book. So I think I'm replacing so with like, I'm replacing um with so. It is, like, this book, you do get, where some, you know how books have, like, the category sections here? This one is Celtic Spirituality. So, there's no, like, pagan or herbalism or whatever attached to it. It's Celtic Spirituality. <laughs> but, Samhain is a... Celtic day brought into like the pagan wheel <coughs> Although the whole pagan wheel brought into uh, pagan traditions, but yeah, so you get a bit of information on how to find quality herbs making a tea Slav um, a few different other things a word of caution from the author So, with the herbs, you do get a basic setup, so you get like the name, the scientific name, and then random information about the herb. Um, so, like you would also get a caution if need be. Um, And then, so, and like, when you get like apple tree, um, mollusip, 
Um, the apple is a symbol of the other world, cut in half, and you will find a pentacrum revealed. Um, so you get a, a, the apple tree adapted from a Scottish traditional walking song. So you get, so example, uh, recipe. So something to make you get that like kind of like leaf thing. Spiced crab apples. And then you get uh, that plant at Samhain and some information. So apple tree at Samhain at midnight on uh, Samhain to, to divine the initials of your next lover. Throw freshly peeled apple parings over your shoulder and see what letter they form. So, and some other stuff. And so you do get that's set up for each one each section so you do get like different herbs for different things so like herbs for protection from and communication with spirits and fairies herbs of protection visionary herbs and herbs of divination to communicate with release and honor the dead uh, and then Part two is herbs, foods, and traditions of Samhain. So you get ritual foods for Samhain offerings. So apple, grains, grains and potatoes, seaweed, uh, some recipes, hazelnuts, uh, the Dumb Supper, history, modern paganism, Paganism and traditional recipes. So like what a dumb supper is. Uh, some recipes for it. How to conduct a dumb supper ritual. A sample sound right. So and you do get a few um, other bits of information throughout the book. And after that ritual. So it's very. It is very informative on the herbs out there that you can use at the time of Samhain. So, I do like it. And if you are a person who is really connected with herbalism or you really love Samhain um, or Celtic spirituality, I think this is a good book. And it is informative. It is a good introduction to a number of different herbs and plants and if you don't at least you get some recipes that you might like out of it so yeah the sacred herbs of Samhain by Ellen Everett Hotman that's the author um, yeah happy readings